Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about dividing polynomials. So I was given this problem. x squared plus 5x plus 3 divided by, say in parentheses, x plus 6. All right? Well, I'm going to apply my long division here, so I'm going to write x plus 6 on my divisor. And I have it go into my dividend, x squared plus 5x plus 3. So now I'm going to ask myself here, what times x gives me x squared? Pretty simple. That's just x. Put x right there above the 5x. x times x is x squared. Great. And x times 6 is 6x. We're now going to subtract the 2 straight down. x squared minus x squared, which is 0. Great. 5x minus, don't forget the minus sign, minus 6x is a minus x. Then we bring down the 3, the plus 3. Okay? So now we have a, a minus x plus 3. So we ask ourselves, what times x gives me a minus x, and that's just minus 1, or negative 1, right? Negative 1 times x is a negative x, and negative 1 times 6 is a negative 6. But again, I'm subtracting this, so we make sure we distribute the subtraction sign when we, when we um, simplify this. Uh, minus x minus, so negative x is a 0, right? Adding a positive x is 0. Good, eliminates. Oops, don't need that there. And then 3 minus a negative 6 is the same thing as adding a positive 6, and that's a positive 9. Okay, so we have a remainder of 9 right there. So our remainder is 9. So our final answer is just x minus 1, what we wrote up there, plus 9, our remainder, over our divisor, x plus 6. And that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given x squared plus 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 6. Well, I rewrote it right here. Okay, our divisor goes into our dividend. And I said, okay, what times x gives me x squared? That's x. So x uh, times x is x squared, and x times 6 is 6x. Six Subtract the 2, gave me a negative x, and I brought down the 3. Then I said, what times x gives me a negative, ne negative x? And that's a minus 1. So negative 1 times x is a negative x. Negative 1 times 6 is a negative 6. Subtract the 2, but when I subtract the 2, I'm going to distribute that minus sign to both parts, I end up with a positive 9. So my final answer is my x minus 1 plus, it was written there, x minus 1, x minus 1, plus my remainder 9 over my divisor, x plus 6.